You don't pick against Brady. Don't if the Browns going. win that game Monday, you might move forward with that. You are now listening to the Not Your Average Sports Fans podcast. Now here's your host, Alex Michaelman and the fans. I'm getting my levels right. I'm working on myself here. Hold on. You're good. But we will get it rocking in here. Mm -hmm. That I feel like is better there. So, hello and welcome to Not Your Average Sports Fans Podcast. I am Alec Blackman. Welcoming in to the studio, the fans. Guys, how are we doing today? Doing good, doing good. good. Fantastic. Good to hear. As I am getting the camera a little bit more adjusted here to be able to get everybody a little bit more. So, breaking ice in there. Harder's getting ice, getting nice ice, ice cold water because it has been warm the last two days. But mm-hmm. thankfully, it's cooling down a little bit. So, Chris, let's kick this guy off right. What is on the mind, sir? Uh, I got a three day weekend and I'm ecstatic for it. Work's been work as That's usual. Not- Hot swamp ass season, of course, but ready to start the three day weekend right. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, man. Got to start the three day weekend and uh, yes, the sir. holiday weekend too. Oh, most definitely holiday. The best weekend. holiday weekend. It is an enjoyable one because it is all about drinking beer and enjoying it. You know, and enjoying the outside, firing up the grill, cooking some burgers, dogs, brats, the whole nine. Hell yeah, dude! Sherman, what's on the mind? Uh, Josh Naylor, Andres Jimenez. Yup, back to back. Walk off homers. Uh, that was Chef's kiss. Just already up one nothing on the uh, very soft team from the Bronx because mm-hmm. Naylor smacked one out in the second. Yup. Mm-hmm. Roll guarding. Boy, and the, was it oh, happy man. to say? Nice. nice for what? The judge. The judge. Yeah. No, she? roll guardians, buddy. Exactly. The, roll. the judge. I think the highlight off that walk off is now every time Josh Naylor is excited, Terry's like, hold on a minute. Takes his hat off, sets it aside, and puts on the batting helmet. Because Josh Naylor will have by him every time, and I am here for it. And Terry's just ecstatic. Absolutely. Harder, welcome back in. Uh, what's on the mind? Uh, nothing much. Just chillaxing. It's my short week, so I get to relax a lot this week. Yeah. Uh, not, not a bad way to be, huh? Six days till I go on vacation. So okay, there you go. I'm counting down the days. Hey man, I think everybody's. I think everybody's at that point where they're ready to get into their vacations and everything like that, or mm-hmm. getting back from them. So uh, yeah. Dalton is out of studio because he's on vacation this yes. week. So we'll uh, kind of work all around that. Right. Moving down there. <laughs> hey, dang, he's been gone for a while. He's, Dalton at this point is everywhere and anywhere. I don't mm. even know what the hell at this point. He's he's one place. He's the other place. And but Dave, what's on the mind? Oh, you know, I miss you guys, and uh, <laughs> happy to say I'll get to see a lot more of you guys now with the new job coming. Mm-hmm. So, uh, unfortunately, Chris has to look at me more often now. He's all right. And in case you didn't know, we also have Kenny Pickett in the studio, too. We do? Yeah, right Where? there. Right over there. He's hiding right behind Jake. Ah! Ah! Funny. <laughs> so. Absolutely. Hey man, it's always great to be able to have an NFL superstar. Oh, most definitely. Did you see he finally told on the Pat McAfee show why he wears gloves? Shut up. No, it's not. He didn't used to wear them. To make his hands bigger. That's what Racing would say. Make his hands look bigger. Yeah. You know what? You guys just can't appreciate greatness. I can't wait till he's a Super Bowl champion. He'll be one before Baker. Or well, even the uh, Broncos uh, uh, team. Clay's going to be jumping through the window. He'll be one before Deshaun it. Watson, too. So. Oh, okay. Well, at this rate, uh, who knows if Watson's even going to play. But that's, that's He'll be a Super not... Bowl champion before Joe Burrow, Lamar Jackson. <laughs> okay, we're going to be stupid now. Move on. Next okay, next so, uh, next wow. Next um, next wow. Did I, did I touch what we're talking about today, maybe? Uh, <clears throat> no. No, 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 not at all. Um, eh, but we, we will chat a little bit of the NFL. Foil hat at home. You what? A tinfoil hat. You forgot your tinfoil hat because all these conspiracy theories. Yes. So I, I do want to get back to what Sherman was talking about because the Cleveland Guardians, man, they are rocking right now, man. One hundred percent. It is just wow. Two back-to-back walk-offs. Mm-hmm. Naylor, Jimenez, just insane, man. 
And did you see the actual call for uh, the Jimenez uh, Homer from the twins? From the twins? And they did it again. Like that just sums everything up. It it sums as a chef's kiss the whole situation up. And it's been so many seasons that I've I've looked at Cleveland, and Cleveland has just had so many issues with the Twins in past mm-hmm. seasons. But this year we're finally rolling, yep. and well, we can sit down well, and say yes. The five five games we played because we had to make up a couple of them. Yeah, we had to make up a couple. So it was technically a five game series, and we won the series. Yeah, which that's another conversation. I I don't know if we want to get started on, but mm-hmm. the the fact that we were canceling games when it barely was raining that was that was great. Yeah, but. Guardians, youngest team, hottest team right now in baseball. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, the Yankees are playing well, and they've got a great record, but um, they, they, the they, they paid for that, and the problem is they're going to get into oh, the playoffs and do what they up. always do and lose in yeah, second, third. And the round. guy that they're happily paying struck out 32 times or more last yeah, month. Joey Gallo. Uh, oh. I just like to, so. Our, our good buddy Matthew yes. is, is there right now, mm-hmm. and he sent me a Snapchat. And it's of my favorite person, and it just says "All Rise." So I just, and I bet he was seated for that picture. I just want you to. Oh yeah, he's definitely seated for that. He's seated he for the picture. Seated. He wasn't standing. How All rise. rise! How dare he? How how did he rise? He oh, he's sitting. We should tell Matt that Cleveland's up two nothing because Fran Mill hit a home run too. Yep. Hey, Matt. Matt. And Sam been playing well at all. <sighs> Any other baseball teams sticking out to you right now? Chris, Not sure. Really. The Pirates no. lost, I think, nineteen to two last night. Who'd they play? The Brewers. That's, that's not a that's not a team you should be losing to nineteen though. It was either seventeen two or nineteen yeah, two. Nineteen two. You should not be giving up nineteen runs. It's the Pirates. No, but I don't care. Sixteen. I think so too. Yeah. I you don't care if it was the freaking Lynchburg uh, Lynchburg team for Cleveland. They shouldn't be. Yeah, they shouldn't be giving up nineteen runs in a baseball game. Well, it is. It's, it's the Pirates. 16 hits, 5 homers for Milwaukee. Jeez. Embarrassing. How many homers? Five. 5. Okay, I thought you were saying like close to 9. I they was were up by so much that they pulled Christian Yelich. They had, <laughs> said, hey, take a seat. I think it said in the second inning, they had 7 runs, and in the 8th, they had 7. Wow. Yeah. So what you're saying is, it was, a, it was actually a, a baseball game for most of the game, and then it just got opened up. For 2 innings, it was bad. Yeah, that that just mm, sounds like a mess. Well, the Pirates aren't last in the division. You're right. Yeah, and probably the last in the league. Probably really close because aren't the Reds getting better? Reds records yeah, but getting they a little only better. Twenty six wins. Oh, really? Yeah, they're mm. they're improved from their projected like forty wins on the whole year. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're still horrible though. Oh, gosh. Um. <sighs> But baseball is yeah. still heating up and still rolling because it's, it's Nationals only have twenty nine wins. Too. Nationals only have twenty nine. Okay. Um, Royals have twenty eight. All star game twenty six. All star game is coming up right around the corner, right? Jose passed that mm-hmm. first in the third base voting. Good. That's exactly what we need. Two more weeks. That's Two more weeks. Week. Okay. I'll be ready to be watching the All Star Game, man. I'm, I'm I, I love it. I mean, it's, it's just enjoyable, derby. especially in L A. That's gonna be crazy. That'll be fun. Nothing will top when it was in Cleveland, though. No, never. it was Nothing it was well. so awesome to see it. I saw it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Even in, when it was in Cincinnati, it wasn't bad. I wouldn't mind taking the drive to Cincinnati and watching the All Star Game down there. That was how many years ago? Twenty fifteen. Okay. Realistically, the All Star Game could be in quite a few places around us. It's drivable. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. yeah even, I mean, I didn't, even, I didn't even think about that. Like Chicago's in it. Philly's drivable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just long. Same with DC. DC's drivable. Pittsburgh's drivable. Yeah. Yeah. Um, New York's drivable too. Yeah. But it's it's longer. Like all places that are drivable. So you could go to quite a few all star games. Yeah. So And Detroit's drivable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Detroit's drivable. So you're uh, looking almost ten ten ba- uh, ballparks yeah, you can drive mm-hmm. to. So huh. baseball's one of those that I I would drive to go see an all star game. I probably oh, would. One hundred percent. But Definitely excited for the All Star Game coming up in the next couple weeks. Anything big going on in college football right now? Oh, um, did did you see that the Big Ten now stretches from one coast to the other? Yes, I saw that. 
That's so weird. <laughs> did Did you see all the memes about uh, those guys having to come to Nebraska and uh, seeing literally miles of corn? Yep. <laughs> How about um, those California kids having to play football in November in snow? Yeah. Very excited for that. Now, the one thing that I did see was is it looks like they're going to pump the brakes on Washington and Oregon. Okay. Because they're going to wait. A rumor. They're waiting for Notre Dame. Notre Dame supposedly, but Notre Dame also mentioned they could join the ACC because there were other talks about <clears throat> Clemson, Florida State, North Carolina, mm-hmm. and Virginia joining the SEC. But North Carolina pumped the brakes a little bit too because North Carolina might join the Big Ten if Notre Dame joins the Big Ten. We so we've it's been. a lot of rumor. Mm-hmm. I think the thing that you have to look at this isn't like so like. But it isn't mm-hmm. like just football. Like, like yes, like in the Big Ten, I think if you add Notre Dame and like USC and UCLA, and realistically Washington, Oregon probably join. So they have to add one more, which North Carolina would make it twenty. Mm-hmm. Which I think super conferences were what twenty to twenty five teams. Right, so you're there. Um, and I could see a couple conferences with this talk of all the schools rumor and everything. We could fix it, and we probably could have four super conferences. Which the other thing can eliminate the Power Five and all of that bias talking. Everything. If you did, if you get those to come in, and you need more teams. I feel like you almost have to put Utah in the Big Ten at some point because now you are just you're not going or from. Even, like, yeah, I was going to say, or even try to restore the Big Twelve, but not Utah there. You could. To restore one that, and it's hard to because they just joined the Big Twelve. I think Cincinnati would do well in the Big Ten. I think they'd be a great Big Ten. I think school. Cincinnati will, be. but they're stuck. I mean, that conference. Mm-hmm. I mean, those smaller conferences have to be scrambling because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. they know. Um, well, like the Big Twelve, like it's got WVU. I mean, WVU could leave and go play Pitt every year or go to the Big Ten. WVU would be great in the Big Ten. Oh, one hundred percent. I mean, I would I, love that. I would love West Virginia to join the Big um, Ten. Personally, like I want them in the ACC just so they play Pitt, but that could be non-conference. Right. But because then you get, I see that, but I wouldn't be surprised if Pitt tried to leave the ACC to go Big Ten either. Because well, not only just have, if you have West Virginia join, not only bring back the rivalry yearly for Pitt and West Virginia, but you also can bring up the little rivalry they have of Pitt and Penn State. Little. I uh, no, it's bigger. I can't remember what the ti- they have a name for it. It's, I just drew a blank on it's the just name. Pitt, Penn State, and they just hate each other. I think Pitt wants those problems, though. No, true. I don't think they're scared. They should be. No, I'll tell you the one that I'm most excited about. Rivers mm-hmm. coming back. I can't wait for Texas and Texas A&M to play every. I can't wait for that. That's definitely going to be interesting. That's going to be awesome because like they hate each other, mm-hmm. and it, like I get it. Um, yeah, and it's. Two of the most overrated teams at the start of every year. Yeah, Texas is back though, so allegedly. I think so. I'm all for Quinn. I'm no, I'm all for not Quinn. It's not jump off the wagon because I'm telling you right now, it's not Quinn. It's definitely not Sarkeesian. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Stop. No, you know it. He's awesome. He not losing. Yes. Okay. They lost to Kansas. I get it. Yeah. You did, you know. <laughs> the, the, so. You got Sarkeesian having both Quinn and supposedly Manning joining just so they both can, they all can lose to Kansas. So great to see that Arch changes his mind. I think Arch would change. I feel it's all just for the talk and everything. I've never had their fries. I'm in shock that you never had their fries. Quinn's in the Heisman talk this year. Arch goes somewhere else. No, I think it's he's just red shirts. He's Arch isn't man. big enough. Guess, what do you mean big enough? Like he's skinnier. You, he's skinnier than Jake. Read, have you read his last name? He yeah. will play week one his freshman year. He will be QB one wherever he. I mean, he's good. That like we're not going to say that like, the dude can't play. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't think he's they're not like going to bench their QB one from the year before. Yeah, they are. Manning coming in. Not if they go. You know, and Quinn's not going to be that guy. So they it go, don't matter. Yeah. If they go 10 and 2. I personally think Quinn's a bust. Quinn's so. a bust. They, they go, they go I 10 and 2. All, all I see. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's on video. I love that's on video forever, too. And I. 
I don't know. I'm also to the point where I think he's just in it for the money, and I think people are starting to see that. And it's just like, okay, we we don't want money that. talks. We don't want I mean, that. He, he yeah, got pretty much. Just, he got a year to develop under one of, if not the best coaching staff in the country, mm-hmm. and then went to Texas, and he's going to keep that going same work ethic he had in Columbus. Yeah, because of the coaching staff. No, he just sucks. He's a bust. He's not. He's the he next Tate the Martell. N- number one quarterback in his class. Tate Martell. Tate Martell was like number 13. He's Tate Martell. No. Tate Martell was smaller than Johnny Manziel and played on a powerhouse team in Nevada. <clears throat> and Nevada's high school football would lose to Harding. So Quinn played. <clears throat> That's five still a stretch if you're saying that. Texas. That's college football. That's what that is. Uh, yeah. But have you ever seen, like, they show, like, the stadium some of these Texas high schools yeah, have? They're bigger than some college. Stadiums. Yeah. Like, yeah. they're a lot nicer. They hold, like, 40,000. Mm-hmm. And they're, like, they're like brand new, and, like, people are like, yeah, that's a valid use of money. <laughs> yeah. Like, really? Was th- that $40 million was valid? Yeah. Yeah, because okay. yeah, they can fill those seats. Oh, yeah. they can. Yeah, <clears throat> they can. And that's, the parking lot. That's Texas. They live in like, pregame game and tailgate high school games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we live in. Like the, we live in the wrong state. Yeah, I mean when you've got when you've got Quinn as your QB one, I would tailgate the games too. Yeah, I mean also like if we live in Texas, we would be there for probably the greatest rivalry in college football, which would be the Red River Showdown. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up. I just wanted to see what you'd say. <laughs> I'm surprised I, you didn't smack I, yourself for saying that yourself. I, I completely, I don't believe that. I think it's the second best. I think it's, I think it's better than the Iron Bowl. Oh yeah, but I think there's no question. It's the game. You know, the game right. is the yeah. game. It's, but the game is the bad thing is if we lived in Texas, we probably would have all gotten cut from our high school football teams. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Even at, you know, as a you water know what boy, they would, exactly. we wouldn't. Yeah, we wouldn't have been water boys. <laughs> Oh, yeah. not even that. No, they yeah. probably have some kid that's going pro in that too. So, I guess before we move on to the next thing, does anybody else like, disagree, hate super conferences? Do you like the Big Ten move? What are you? What are you I, thinking? I think you got to. I think super conferences has got to be the way to go at it's, the end of the day. It's, it's going to happen. happen. There's, 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 right now, it's going to happen. There's too many Notre Dames and UCFs that. Accidentally go twelve and zero against a bunch of high school teams. Yeah, and I think they deserve to be in. That also puts the pressure on Notre Dame to actually join a conference for football too. Very right. much so. No, that's the thing is going to be is like you can't make the playoffs as an independent if you have the super conferences. Right. But, yeah, <clears throat> like that's what I'm saying. It's got to be that puts days. pressure for them to yeah. actually join up. So here's for football. The thing too, like, and I, I agree with you. So these super conferences are going to have so many teams. Non conference games are going to shrink. Yes, mm-hmm. she's probably only going to get one or two, maybe none. So Notre Dame's left playing crap. Well, you don't have to play your entire conference. You can yeah. still play a no. But if the conference has twenty eight. to twenty five teams, why do you need to go play in another conference? Play within your conference. For, it's a super conference. Why do you need for to cross those other schools for the Bowling mm-hmm. Greens and the OUs that need to play a big school? And get the money from it. So yeah. You do it like what? Two games? Yeah, you do some tune-up games. Alabama you can't do, go twelve and zero without playing like three or four. East. You do like three or yeah. four. Yeah. I mean, so. you're right. Bama has to play Chattanooga before they, they play, play Auburn. They got to play Citadel. Yep. They, they yeah, got to do those teams. They they, 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 they were gotta, trying to get Georgia Bishop Southern Tech on the schedule before they played Auburn. No, they have to they, play Southern Western Florida mm-hmm. uh, Gulf Coast uh, Golf Technical Tech. Yeah. Home of the Same. blind. Well, I think in 2026 yeah. they're scheduled blind. to play Marion Tech. Hey, <laughs> now that gives us the opportunity to play them? for Marion yeah, Tech. Yeah, it'll be uh, right on the soccer field out there. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, the uh, if you I don't know if you saw the construction for the stand starts uh, in a couple weeks. Construct- oh, good. You getting yeah. the lumber ready for it? Yeah, yeah that's that's lumber? why I got hired. That's because the move. That's there wow. you go. Yeah. <laughs> that that's the Henry Lumber move right there. Yeah, I wanted the commission off that. There it is. So All the commission. <laughs> yeah. So I I do want to do a final recap for the NHL because uh, we we yeah, have that have group to. of guys in to chat about it. Dave, I have not picked your brain about everything that's gone on with the Stanley Cup Finals and just everything with the whole uh, NHL Finals or NHL season. He probably took team, but so we marked this explicit, right? 
Yeah, it's explicit. You're oh, good. okay. So fuck Tampa. Yes, get, we all me, said that. We, we get we that. Um, so part of me wanted the history of okay. the three peat. Okay. But I also I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think it's super impressive. Okay. Because part of it is the bubble. So you had four months, and then you were in this bubble and you're recharged. Mm -hmm. And that's like I'm not discounting like. The challenges teams had in bubbles, I'm not mm -hmm. discrediting, but you had four months. And excuse me, so you come back after two months of hockey. Yeah. And you just retard, like you're on this high of winning the cup. Mm hmm. So they go do it. The run back to the cup is impressive, but I think in history, when you add the bubble to it, I don't know that it's maybe down the road. Nice. Right. Yeah. But, but I think right now it's like, because, like, people discredit the Lakers bubble win. And I get it, but I don't. So, I I thought it was a great series. I thought Colorado was clearly much better. Mm -hmm. I thought it should have been over in five. Okay. Um, but, you know, it, things happen. Um, I thought the overtime games early on were awesome for the NHL. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the blowouts, not so much, because those were pretty boring. Because they had back to back blowouts. But the two overtime games, game one and four, were awesome. Mm -hmm. Even game five being close was good. Um, I do think it's really good for the NHL. The NHL needs to expand more because I think it's becoming more popular. It's like the Seattle market, like that was mm -hmm. awesome. I think they could put two more teams. They, there was a room. I think they too. will. Like Oklahoma City wants one. They talked about Oklahoma City, but then they were debating about the second one. Someone mentioned bringing another one to Canada, but they're in discussion where they would if they had another Canadian. I think you can put a team back in Atlanta too. But they, Atlanta is also another one. They said mm -hmm. they wanted. They actually wanted the Atlanta Thrashers back. Yeah, but mm -hmm. um, I'm one hundred percent behind. Re yeah. redo the logo and kind of keep it like it was, but just update it a little bit. Update it a little bit, but like revamp the logo a bit, but keep the same color scheme. Absolutely. Um. I think the thing too is like once a city loses a team mm -hmm. and they get them, or they have a chance to get them back. I think they realize what they had and lost it, but also winning fixes everything. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if you win, nobody cares. I thought it was a great series. Um, I little biased. I thought it was better than the NBA finals. I sorry. I thought it was better than the finals. So. <laughs> so, Xerox. So, I don't think you guys have headphones on, but uh, we are joined in studio with Dalton. Dalton, how we doing, sir? Yeah. Doing well. Oh, well, I need headphones. Do we have an extra pair somewhere? Um, I have a pair right here, actually. Here. Dalton, I miss you. How's the uh, vacation while we're while we're chatting? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I heard. Okay. He got you in there a couple of days ago, I think. And you haven't yeah. been to the beach yet? That's the first thing I do. <laughs> no, I open a call first and then go to the beach. Uh, you are breaking in and out there, sir. Mm -hmm. I will tell you that. 
Yeah, yeah. you're breaking in and out a lot. Oh, okay. You're okay. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Is it like a holiday going on that people go to Myrtle for? Is there something going on? <laughs> nah. There's something nah. going on. There's nothing going on. In this week. Ain't nothing. Nah, no, nah, just just casual, uh, just casual night, right? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So, Dalton, we we're just wrapping up with uh, some of the NHL conversation that we we're having because I wanted to catch up with Dave on that, and we are getting ready to get mm-hmm. right into our early NFL predictions and kind of how we're going to do it. I'm going to give everybody a a kind of a format of what we're going to do. We're pretty much going to go down for each division and we're going to see who everybody thinks is going to win that division. And then we're going to see who is going to end up in the AFC and NFC championships, who wins them, and then who's going to win in the Super Bowl. And you can also break down any, any important things that you want to, or you deem as you want to be said for the NFL this year. Hey, yeah. real quick, uh, Cavs lock up Darius Garland for five years, $231 million. Good. That was a great move by them. Biggest contract in uh, Cleveland Cavaliers history. And it is well-earned and well-deserved. Most definitely. Definitely. Lots of Garland. Definitely something uh, that was needed. So, Chris, I will let you kick this off. Um, let's start, and we're going to start on the NFC side, and then we'll get to the AFC since I feel like everybody here is pretty well AFC heavy. All right. Um, Except Chris. Oh. I mean, I am AFC heavy. It just happens my favorite team is in the league. packed over there? A little bit. I, I talk great things about the AFC. I get you. I talk great things about football regardless. Ah, it's a... Mm-hmm. <clears throat> that they are. So we will just kick it right off, and we're going to go from east, north, south, west. Okay. So who do you have for the NFC East? To win it all? Yeah. Who's winning the NFC East? I'm going to take the Philadelphia Eagles to win the NFC East. Okay. Who do you have taking the NFC North? The North? I, I'm, I don't know how they're going to get it. That's just how it is. Take the Bay Packers to win the NFC North. Okay. NFC South, I actually have a tie. But. Say some dumb shit. <laughs> Better not say some dumb shit. And who do you anyway, have? I have a tie for the NFC South. I have a tie between the Saints and the Bucks. All right. That was, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm glad. That's fine. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. But. And to spoil. Especially because I'm sure Sherm will say it, but I got this. Pan- my Panthers are finishing last in the South. It don't matter. We're not going to win. It's just how they it is. Sam Darnold, they'll be great. Matt Corral actually. Matt Corral will win them more games than Sam Darnold this year. Right. Anyway, but for the South, I have a tie between the Saints and Tampa Bay, <clears throat> and when in the NFC West, I have the Los Angeles Rams. Interesting. Okay. So. Harder, who do we got going from that list right there? Start um, with the East. The East is going to be Philadelphia. Okay. Uh, the North is going to be Minnesota. Okay. Um, New Orleans is going to win the South, and the West is going to be won, won by Arizona. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, I I probably come back to you about that. I want to hear one. I want to hear what you got on some of those. So, mm-hmm. Sherm, who you got? Okay. What What's the order again? So we're going East, North, South, West. Okay. For the East, I have um, Philly. Okay. Uh, the North, I have Green Bay very close. One game over Chicago. Okay. Uh, the South is is Tampa Bay. The South is Tampa Bay. Yeah. And uh, the West, I got the Rams. Okay. Dave, who you got? Uh, so for the NFC least, yes. uh, I'm actually going to go with the Commanders. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll hear what you got to say on that one here in a minute. Hold on. I'll hear what you got. We'll discuss after, but yeah. finish the teams. 
Uh, in the NFC North, I'm going to go with the Detroit Lions. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I just, I have a feeling. I'm going with the Lions. Okay. The, <laughs> the Detroit Lions? <laughs> in football. Uh, NFC South. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Tampa. Um, I was ready for you to go with the Panthers. Yeah, or, no, no, I wasn't waiting for him to I say was, Falcons. I was hoping he would say Atlanta and then be like, I'm just kidding. Let me give you my real team. So. <laughs> no, I'm oh. going. No, the psych one will be. I'm taking Carolina. Psych, I'm taking Atlanta. And now this is and this is your this is your team taking a team. This is my my redeem. I'm going to take Baker Mayfield and the Seattle Seahawks. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Taking. I was gonna say, did he, did he sign? And you're not telling us what? What do you know? Are you his agent? Yeah, that's where all the money's coming from. No, I'm taking the Rams. Okay. Um. So I will be 100 percent honest with you. The NFC least one that was just to get you guys to laugh. The Lions think I'm being real. Um. I do think the Eagles win that division. Okay. But I do. I think the Lions win. Have that. you looked at their schedule? I think the Lions are fine. They have to play Philly. They have to go to New England. They have to go to Dallas. They play Green Bay. Uh, they have to play Buffalo. They have to go to Carolina, <clears throat> and they have to play in Green Bay mm-hmm. in December. It'll be fine. No, no, they won't. Ten games in that division. So, starting from me, I got my uh, NFC least. Uh, it is going to be Dem Boys winning the NFC least. Uh, it is not going to be a fun one. They're going to get a home game, and they're going to get. Yes. Uh, well, I'll, I'll just quote the song yeah, now. I I couldn't earlier. They they're going to get digged down in Dallas. Um, they swear the Lord. Um, it's just that's how it is. It's going to be. Um, NFC North. Uh, one hundred percent. Green Bay's going to win it, and then the Vikings probably are going to be number two, keeping it close. Uh, the NFC South. Uh, I'm looking at the Saints to win the NFC South. Um, I at least I would like them to, even though I do think Tampa Bay is going to. Um, and I'm going to final match. Scandal. It is just it. It's a mess. I thought we had a lighter up there, but um, I don't know if it's still up there or not. Might not be. But uh, Tampa Bay is going to win the NFC South. But I I want the Saints to be close with it. Just kind of how Chris had said it. Um, I do think they're one of the wild card teams. So then NFC West is going to be the Rams winning that, and Cardinals probably close in there as well. And I have not had Dalton return, so we will rock on over to the AFC. Or uh, actually, let's stick with the NFC really quickly. Who are your seven teams that end up in the playoffs? Chris, let's start it off. All right, give me a second because my tablet fell asleep. Mm-hmm. Give me. Get. So okay. my seven teams I have in the NFC for the playoffs. Number one, I have the Los Angeles Rams. Number two, I have as a tie. It it honestly can flip back and forth for the number two, but the one will be two, the other will be five. Number two. I'm going to take it because I think they're going to squeak it with a tiebreaker because they're going to sneak the head-to-head. I'm going to put the New Orleans Saints at two, Green Bay Packers at three, Philadelphia Eagles at four, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they're at five, Arizona Cardinals are at six, and seven sneaking in. And the reason I got them going in is because I think their front seven is going to be solid. And I know I'll, I'm – kind of talked about it before and there's a man on a mission coming back this year number seven i'm going to take the washington commanders but the reason i'm taking the commanders chase young is a man on the mission they got montrez sweat jonathan allen they're gonna have a solid defense and carson wentz and carson wentz is gonna get knocked out yes and wentz is a downgrade yes but he's gonna get knocked out because he hasn't played a full season in who knows how long Promise land. They're just gonna work. They're actually just gonna work a slot. Curtis Samuel's just gonna play quarterback. Like, nah, hold on. Let me handle the rock. Scary Terry all day. And Jahan Dotson be solid for him. But absolutely, absolutely. I can't wait to. But watch no, him. I think Washington's defense. I feel like they're gonna have the same thing they did 2020 when they made a playoff appearance. So, mm-hmm. Carter, who you got? Uh, my number one is gonna be Arizona. Okay. Uh, what what drugs are you on? Number two is gonna be uh, Saints. <laughs> okay. Number three is gonna be Minnesota. Philly will be number four. <clears throat> uh, Green Bay will be five, or yeah, five. No, no, Tampa will be five. Green Bay will be six, and then the Rams will be seven. Interesting. The Rams at seven. That's okay, nice. well, yeah, we'll talk after. Once we get around this table, we're just covering everything. 
We're we're gonna cover everything yeah, here in a minute. So, Sherm, who, Sherm, you, who you got? got? I, think I needed Jesus. Clearly, you need the Jesus. Rams at one, the Bucks at two, Green Bay at three, Jeez. Philly at four. Uh, They get to play the Lions twice. They get to play three. I will have uh, Philly. Okay. Four on the Lions. Interesting. Um, mm-hmm. Five, I have the Cardinals. Okay. At six, I'm going to go with Dallas. And what? at seven, I know, it's hard. At seven, I have the 49ers sneaking in. Interesting. Okay, so the 49ers, yeah. I, I can see that. But he, here's what I got. Uh, number one, one hundred percent, it's going to be the Rams. Uh, number two, I'm going with Green Bay. Number three is going to be the Buccaneers, and number four is going to be Dallas. Uh, number five, we are looking at uh, the Cardinals. Number six, I am looking at the Saints, and number seven, uh, who do I want? I am going to look at. The Vikings. I think seven is going to be the Vikings. Okay, so first things first. We gotta go back to you. First thing. <laughs> the Cardinals number one. I gotta hear this. Yes, sir, Just baby. roll, rock it on, and ready. James Connor. Do you need this for your drugs? Is this is what you need. Yeah, Kirk's in Jacksonville now. They're just gonna win. For six games. We'll be good. Trust me, they're good. I, I just had the team, like, the seven teams out that was going to be in the playoffs, and I didn't have them in order, and then I just threw them into an order. But I do believe the Rams are going to be number seven. All right. You, the Can you Super explain Bowl, that? Super Bowl hangover happens to everybody. Well, it especially happened to Matt Stafford, because he's only been into how many playoff games? Let me tell you, it's been like one or two. So, yes, the hangover for him will last. The Cooper Cup, it will last. It lasts to every single team. Let's not. Like, he can win a triple crown and the hangover still happen. Hangover is real. Super Bowl hangover is real. in the Super Bowl, so... Okay, well, that's a different hangover you're talking about, but anyway, but yes, so, I mean... Five. It, because you never have... When's the last time the number one seed's been, other than Tom Brady... Wins the Super Bowl and ends the number one seed next year. That is a good point. I'll give you that. Um, the Chiefs. No, the Chiefs weren't the number one seed. Yeah. Chiefs number two. They didn't have the. No, because I think the Bills had it that year. Yeah. Played a red playoff game. Yes, he has. So oh, he yes, hasn't. He, yes, he. Has. The Bills lost. They hosted the wild card. Mm-hmm. They played. He played. Who'd, who'd he, he's the number two seed. Buffalo, yeah, Buffalo played Baltimore at home before they went on the road to play Kansas City. No, that wasn't last year. They hosted. Uh, da, 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 da. Who did they host? Buffalo lost at home to Indianapolis. That was a few years ago. That was a wild card game. Yeah, which means no. the Chiefs would have been. I 
And Mahomes hasn't played a real playoff was game yet. Could yeah, it was Baltimore in the one year. Yeah. And there that was, was still two, two te- that was two teams in the playoffs, though. So that was still Yeah. So Baltimore would have been one. Tennessee beat them. Yeah, and then Kansas City hosted Tennessee. Tennessee. Yep. Mm-hmm. There it is. Yep, there it is. Talk about being not your average sports fans. Look at that right there. <laughs> All the math. Heck, we should probably just get a chalkboard over in the corner over here. Just be able to make, sit there and do it. We can make it work. Run it down. I know someone that can let us go on the chalkboard. So, second, I got to run it back to you, sir. I cannot remember what I had on. Oh, I think it would have been the Lions pick. Well, I knew about your Lions pick. There was something Sherman said, too. Sure. Oh. Yeah, Sherman, Chicago. That. You were talking about Chicago. We need to hear about well, the Chicago well, stuff. Well, listen, so I got Chicago at 10-7. and 7, Okay. Which is going to get them in the playoffs. Because the East, obviously, you've got the winner, and then Dallas at 10-7. and 7. Okay. Uh, The West, the Cards aren't going to do shit. The Seahawks aren't going to do literally play football this year. Mm-hmm. And... uh I think the 49ers struggle with Trey Lance's first year. Okay. And then the Falcons and Panthers are going to be horrible. So by that math, there's only seven teams that can make the playoffs. Unless the Vikings perform better than expected. But so I could see the Vikings flipping the Bears. Okay. Into that spot at six and kicking the Bears out. It just depends on how Chicago's new coach, how the new offensive coordinator mm-hmm. unleashes trash, trash, fields. Trash. Right. Because rash, rash, bust. Fields would be the best RPO quarterback in the league. He's already the fastest quarterback in the league. But fastest <laughs> quarterback in the league. Uh, he, uh, <laughs> uh, Lamar Jackson is listed as a quarterback. So that I didn't say is not Fields is a fastest. better runner than Lamar. No, fast, you said fast. Justin Fields is faster than Lamar Jackson. This is not like news. This is not like a thing. This so real. I'm looking at that schedule and I see three tough games. I think for them. So you, you you want me to give you their seven losses I got? Okay, so I'm counting three and then I can count five that they get as losses. I would say. Houston, okay. the Giants, okay. Washington, okay. Miami, yeah. mm-hmm. Detroit. Uh, they upset Green Bay in Chicago. Years, and then they upset Buffalo in Chicago. No, that's not happening. Well, listen, no, wasn't this point, I'm also talking about that when we were talking about Chicago schedule. Already like fourteen and zero, so they're benching their starters. So they're beating like Jake from State Farm. <laughs> And whoever, else, and whoever else the Bills want to play. Jake Kool-Aid Kool-Aid man. Aggressive and the Kool-Aid, man, Kool-Aid man's playing center. Well, yeah. No, he, he's playing middle linebacker. All middle linebacker. Got the it. Buff. He can break through the line, bud. Yeah. But then I've got them losing to Green yeah. Bay. Yes. Losing to Minnesota. Okay. I have them getting swept by Minnesota. Okay. Uh, losing one to Detroit. Losing to Philly. Losing to Dallas. And losing to New England. I think they would take both with Detroit. I really do. I don't yeah, I was gonna say I don't think they guess what but I think they could, but at the same time I don't know. You know I said they lose to Buffalo, but they Campbell and Jared Detroit. Goff in December, you never know what's gonna happen. Right. No, I get Who it. Knows. Like eight and four. Eight and four week uh week uh seventeen. They skip some games. So I'm saying like they're pushing like they're gonna get there. Oh well, we need they're to talk to well, again. Twelve and, 12 and three probably. I'll get ready to slide because you're up next. Yeah, I got to hear about this Lions talk, man. What is going on here? There's a reason why Daniel is lit. Yeah. Man, so, wagon, that's what it is. So first of all, the pool they him. have Motor City Dan Campbell. Okay. Which is easily accounted for three wins. Right off the bat. Okay. <laughs> um, Jared Goff. <laughs> yes, I don't think Jared Goff's that bad. Um, so they're going to be using Vision. So the Vikings, are, I think, are going to be awful. Um, the Bears, I think, are just atrocious and should be a college football team. Uh, so then you have the Packers in the Lions, and the Packers are going to struggle without Devonte Adams. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Aaron Rodgers is not the guy. 
He's he's good for this. There is an, an Aaron, Aaron will do if, well. If, I think Aaron Jones. If Tom it. Brady can make some undrafted guys into damn near all pro receivers, so can Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, you know, we're not going to talk about it. Let me, let me. So, I think the Lions had an outstanding draft. I think you can get another year of dudes believing in a system and in a division where it's not going to be that competitive. I think realistically, 10 games can win you that division. I'm just I think ten games. I think they're more than capable of winning ten games. I also think that if it gets close, the motivator of men that Dan Campbell is, they'll be fine. I think they'll push through, and even if they don't win a division, they're definitely a wild card team. Okay. So I think they're definitely a playoff team. I think they're in that seven. Um, I think they ruin somebody's season. I they do. Will. They'll probably ruin their own season. I, I think they spoil somebody's season. I think they even. They don't play Pittsburgh this year, do they? No, they don't. So they won't spoil Pittsburgh's. So they did that last year. That we had that tie. Mm-hmm. That you know. So, because that way Pittsburgh in a seventeen game season could still find a way to be eight and eight and one. <laughs> yep, because mm-hmm. that's what they do. Mm-hmm. So, no, I I do think the Lions are going to be really good. That's um, cool. You know what I I'm think doing when I get home. Hmm. I'm I'm setting this year's roster up and I'm simming it and I'm sending you the picture when the Lions go two and fifteen. Three and fourteen. Three and fourteen. Uh, Four and thirteen. Four and thirteen, maybe. You I, see, about I see Dan Campbell fourth quarter, he's gonna suit up and yeah. play tight end for a game. Get the dub. No word. He would. That's that's the that's, that's I, the thing. That's the is he would. He's a player's coach. So that's he probably does hitting drills. Absolutely. Him and Mike Rabel both. Can yeah. you imagine the two of them on a coaching staff together? Yeah, that would be dangerous. Yeah, I miss that. I'll, that would be the I'm way it. scariest team ever. I mean, will they be good? Maybe not. Oh, no, they, because they, they would be fucking uh, motivated. Yeah, That's I was going to say, a motivated hitting team. Hey, man, you'll be coming out of that locker room, and you won't use the door to go out. You will go through the wall. Yeah. I mean, because, like, first of all, you're not going to out-tough them. No. It's just not going to be a thing. You're not going to out-physical them. You're not going to mentally break them. So that's half the damn battle. And then they're so detailed, you're not going to out-detail them and game-plan them mm-hmm. unless you're Belichick. They just need a quarterback. Unless you're Belichick. if you combine the Titans and the Lions, you still don't have a QB1. Ryan Tannehill. Is a QB2. Malik Willis. Is a QB3. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Jared Goff, four. Trey Lance. Where would he be? Way off the Trey Lance in that offense. But I think we got a little push in there. But that's yeah, my, we had a little theory. That's that's my my <laughs> NFC. My I think back with the Lions. I, I want to hear about Washington sliding in as the seven. I just think Chase. I kind of stated before Chase Young is man on a mission, and I feel like at least defensively. That defense will be like, you know what, Chase Young's playing, hearts out, lights out. We need to keep that momentum going and that front seven. It's young, but I think it'll be solid. Yeah. But I, well, as, and Chase Young done it before. I know Chase Young can do it again. And I think Jonathan Allen, Montrez Sweat, and a couple other players will step up. Yeah, but they had Fitzmagic back then. Didn't they? That was No, that was Alex Smith. And then when Alex yeah, Smith okay, got hurt, Alex Taylor Heineke exactly. went in. Exactly. But, it's also that you're not getting out. I'm looking at it as they just squeak in, but they squeak in. That's maybe me, they'll try to participate. Let me be honest order. with you here, real quick. I have Washington at two and fifteen. They did have that year where their defense did carry them. Mm-hmm. What year was that? That was a couple 2020. years ago. Twenty twenty. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But like you said, they had Alex Smith and yeah. Uh, Carson Wentz is no Alex Smith. Oh, one hundred percent, he isn't. But yeah. I also said Alex or. Yeah, I'm praising Alex Smith, but I'm not trying to praise him. That's how Alex Smith was back then. Alex Smith is a baller. But Carson Wentz, I also don't think Carson Wentz is playing all this season. I could see him week three, week four, he gets rattled, and then he's missing time. Yeah, but, but then Sam Howell is also just part of you want to talk about your boy Sam Howell, how great he is. The mother man. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think it's just a spark. But then again, Scary Terry got paid. They still have Curtis Samuel. Jahan Dotson, I think, is a solid draft pick for him. And I think 
Riverboat Ron Rivera will have something sparking. No, but most importantly, I didn't but most importantly to the damn but, that's why you got him in the play. But also <laughs> think about this. NFC least. You're you're gonna be like, yeah, they're gonna do this, they're gonna do this, they're gonna do that. And they somehow do the exact of opposite of what everybody's well, let's be real. Realistically, the Giants probably win that division somehow. Huh? No, the Giants just never. fine. Uh-huh. Not with Daniel Jones. The Giants just, not we're gonna win. come out, they're gonna win eleven games, and we're gonna be like, oh. Huh. Danny Dimes is the guy. Yeah. The next year, oh, they're two and fifteen. No, 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 no. That's Please. NFC See, that's football. <laughs> yeah, no. Mm-hmm. Daniel Jones bit. will never, ever, ever. Okay, um, Daniel Jones as will TV1. do a three-step drop going back to pass and trip over his own feet in the yeah. end zone. That it, was Ben Roth's. Daniel program. Jones couldn't win nine games. But Danny Dimes is going to reenact it for you again. I don't need to see it. Again. Daniel Jones couldn't win ten games against a midget football team. Exactly. Hey, he will yeah. not win that division. We spawn if Eli be, Manning deserves a little more respect. We wouldn't be Daniel Jones. Huh? We wouldn't be Daniel Jones. Okay. I don't know. I'm trying to think arm. Like, I don't know whose arm I would rather have. Dave's arm or Daniel Jones? Neither. I think us as a defense oh, as a whole, I think, can do it. Give me Just the podcast group. Whoever their backup quarterback is. Literally, uh, Literally actually, let me that, I know they had Mike Glennon, but I don't. I like Mike. I Glennon. think Glennon's still there. Mike Glennon has the worst Mike Glennon percentage. Is older. He is. No, they no. They signed Tyra Taylor. Taylor. They signed Tyra. Yeah, give me Tyra. I don't even like. And Tyra they got Davis Webb. Well, actually, but give me Ty, Give me Davis Webb. Davis Webb QB one. I'm I'm a Tyra Rod guy. It's, I, it's I think he's decent to hand the ball to Saquon. Just tell him not to get hurt. Yeah. Yeah, but that's the thing. Saquon's gonna be carrying the workload. Let's I, think, for Saquon. I think Saquon gets traded. Let's say so, throw it up to Kenny Galladay. I'm gonna be honest with you. He's trash too. So I agree with you. Either Saquon gets traded, or it's gonna become a McCaffrey issue. Yep. Yeah. He's gonna, he's gonna be injured. He's, he's getting overused. He's gonna get, he's gonna get overused. He's gonna get over injured. I'm not drafting in fantasy this year. Fucking Saquon Barkley. Uh, and I'm what also not gonna get McCaffrey. Draft? I think I took him like seventh overall in our draft last year. Yeah. yeah. And he also he stuck sick. week one and got hurt. Yep. A uh, hard pass to Saquon and a hard pass. And I mean hard on McCaffrey. Yeah. And people still have like McCaffrey's, still have him number one. McCaffrey's average uh-huh. drafting right now is two to three. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. No. No. But I mean, the bad thing is he's their whole offense this year. So Ooh, if he's healthy. Literally. If he's healthy, he's going to get the touches. Mm-hmm. Any other uh, big if. any other questions on our picks here with the NFC? <clears throat> I I love that nobody's challenged mine. It just tells you how how perfect it is. Oh, well, why why didn't you have Philly in there? Why didn't I have Philly? Yeah. Well, Philly would have been Hurts, my wild wild card AJ team. Brown. It would have been my wild card team, but that team's just getting together, and I I believe a little bit more in the Saints. That's why. Really, mine was no. I'm fine with the Saints because I also mm-hmm. had Saints. Mm-hmm. Mine was Minnesota over over. Yep. Minnesota yeah. over that. So I think in terms with Minnesota, last year they had this magical issue called they couldn't finish a damn game. Seems think of how many games they had that they lost by three, and they had the drive. I'm All they about, had to do was put it in the, the freaking game. the Cleveland game. They had like there two was, or three other games. They that, did it against Chicago. Yeah, yeah, it was good, and there were games that they should have won. Yeah. Teams that they should have beat, and you just sit back and you're just looking at it like. That's that's a Kirk Cousins issue, right? And they because they've got talent: Dalvin Cook, Justin Jefferson, a good team, one of the best receivers in the league. It's Adam Thielen, great yeah, team. Thielen, solid. But this year is the year that they look to him and say, "Okay, here's the deal: you don't get it done, you're gone, right. and you're going to be playing with who knows in the Canadian Football League, Bernie Ham Stallions. You, you're going to be with up. Edmonton Elks, okay? You're you're going to be playing Canadian football. Elks got JT Barrett, someone Carter Jones." Didn't someone, uh, Dave, have Kirk Cousins as a sleeper MVP? No, jeez. No, I, I think someone, like someone a couple did. weeks ago, someone, someone had did. Kirk Cousins as a sleeper MVP, and I was so angry. I don't remember who the hell said it. I, I can imagine that. Wow. I say, <laughs> I say a lot of dumb shit. <laughs> not that, though. But not that let fucking me, dumb. Let me call no. medium and see if it was him. Because mm. I put. I know it wasn't me. So, definitely looking there at the NFC. Who wins the NFC? I have the. Yeah, I have the Rams win the NFC. Rams win the Rams NFC. Win the Dave, who you got winning the Tampa. NFC? Tampa. Tampa wins hey, the did, NFC. Um, did you say Kirk Cousins is a sleeper for MVP?
All right, so it was you. Okay. Okay, good to know. Noted. <laughs> <laughs> It so, wasn't him. He just didn't want to admit it again. Yeah, pretty right. much. Because we caught him in 4K. Harder, who you got? Because yeah. I also have the Rams taking this. The Saints. No. You have the Saints James winning it. Win. Got it. He has Jameis eating all them dubs. It's, it's Chris Olave. Chris Olave. He has Jameis eating Jameis all Jameis. them dubs. It's on the verge of outbreak. I'll tell you what, the short route game, though. I'm ready for it. Oh, so, oh my it, God. Because Chris Olave. Yep. He's like, do you remember? Like, it was probably about a year ago now. We had a podcast, and I, and I said that I respect Jake's opinion on sports and football. I'd like to retract <laughs> that statement. He after, retracts it now, until I'm actually right. After what he said know. about the New Orleans Saints, he's like, "Well, you remember when I said I want to retract my statement? Now I want to retract the retract my statement." Yeah. No, give him five minutes. He will. Uh, 15. 15. But so we have our NFC champions. Let's kick it over to the AFC. The one that I think we all are just a little bit more, even it's more a, prepared to talk exciting. about. Um, this is this is the conference that I think is going to be heavy competition. Hard this is this your hard. super this conference. Is super Bowl winner. This is your beat down, drag out conference, and it is going to be hard to win this conference. So, let's kick it off. AFC East. Chris, who you got? I'm taking Buffalo Bills and win the AFC East. Okay. Harder, who you have on the East? Uh, close with New England, but the Bills. Okay. Sherm, who you got on the East? Same. I got the Bills close. So okay. Dave? I have the Bills, and I have the Patriots finishing third in that division. Interesting. I have the Bills first. Uh, I have uh, the Patriots second. No, I think I had the Dolphins second, Patriots yeah. third, Jets Oh, fourth. my God. Yeah. You realize that Tua is their quarterback still? They'll be fine. He has targets. He doesn't have He's targets. got to throw. You have to throw it to the targets. He's down there somewhere. <laughs> He's got fast enough targets that can move in an area. Are you counting the fact that Tate so, Bridgewater will be taken under all, the for quarterback? All I have to say is the Tennessee Titans effect. They're down there somewhere. They're down there somewhere. That's all I got to say. How many times did you look and say, yeah, he just bombed that one and hope somebody caught it, and they did. That was Cardale Jones in 2015. Mm-hmm. But, hey, down there. But I just know it. Boom. The uh, Jalen Waddle and Tyreek Hill aren't Devin Smith and Noah Brown and Michael Thomas. I think they'll get it done, though. I think they'll have it. They'll be fun. Samuel. So, it's a Noah Brown. AFC North. AFC North. I'm taking the Cincinnati Bengals to win it. Okay. Harder. Cincy. Okay. Sherm. I guess I'll say the damn Bengals. Pains you. <laughs> Dave, who you got? Baltimore. You have Baltimore. You got Baltimore. Baltimore so you and I are a little bit a little bit close on a conversation, but I do have the Bengals winning it. So the Bengals are second. Like it's very close. Like there's the other two teams in that division aren't touching it. It's it's yeah. going to be the two of those. Like the AFC North is going to have two wild card teams, and it's the Bengals and the Ravens. You and I are very thinking very similar. I still think that the Bengals are a game or two over the Ravens, though. I mean, I hope so. I hate Baltimore. Uh, I hate yes. I mean, I'm cool if it's Joe. Like, I don't bother me. Yeah. So, AFC South. This is going to be, a, I, I think, a pretty quick pick mm-hmm. just all around the table oh, here. No, you, you wait. Oh, I'm ready. Who we got, Chris? I'm taking Derrick Henry and the Tennessee Titans. Part of who you got? Uh, I'm going Indy. Going Indy? Okay. Okay. I'm going to track the trash. It's about by me. Yeah, me ten for it. Sherm, who you got? He got Sherm. I got Jacksonville. Ooh. Oh, Somebody put a bookmark on this one. Um, <laughs> Mark, there's the line. No, 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 no. Can you, can you hey, it's it's like, there we go. Hold on. But we'll come back to it. Who you got one in the AFC South? Matty Ice. And the Colts. Sir. Okay. Wow. Get the bookmark <laughs> saying. That might, time that's going to become a ringtone now. Wow. Okay. Um, Went round table to not even knowing what happened. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going with the Titans again. Uh, mm-hmm. Again, they're down there somewhere, and the Derrick Henry effect. Uh, if you don't want to get out of my way, I will put you out of my mm-hmm. way, um, and I'll put you on your ass. Right. So, last division, which I think is going to be a tough one. It, it's been not a really. tough pick for me. Not really? Right. Not really. Well, okay, nobody no. Okay, we understand why it's not a tough pick for you. AFC West, who you got, Chris? I'm taking the Los Angeles Chargers. Okay. Harder, who you got? We'll, we'll, we'll put a bookmark on it, too. Yes. Harder, who you got? Go. Uh, I got Kansas City. Sure. Aggressively close. to have Kansas City. Well, it's aggressively close with Denver, but still. Dave, who you got? Denver. <laughs> Going with the Chiefs. So, does it... You guys, like, the goal here is to say the right thing. You're not... Yeah. This is it. You've been wrong for a long time, and now you're not saying anything that's right. Anyway. Like, this isn't like when me and Clay yeah. try to make, I make to, big money on hate, sports bets. You're supposed to say the right thing. I hate to break it to you, but I'm pretty sure that you had Seattle in the playoffs last year, and your argument was Russell Wilson. So if your argument no, in 10 him. seconds is no. about to be Russell Wilson for Denver, yeah. I yeah. hate to break it so, to you. But. I need our seven first before we really break this down. Right. So, Chris, who's your seven? Give me 30 seconds. My top fell asleep. You are fine. So my seven for the AFC, I have the Buffalo Bills. Okay. The Tennessee Titans. Okay. The Cincinnati Bengals. The Los Angeles Chargers. Okay. The Las Vegas Raiders. The Baltimore Ravens. Mm -hmm. And I have seven for the sleeper. I have the New England Patriots. Interesting. Carter, who you got? I got the Chiefs one. Okay. Bills two. Okay. Indy's three, mm-hmm. Cincy's four, mm-hmm. uh, Denver five, mm-hmm. Ravens six, and New England seven. Interesting. Sherm, who you got? Okay, let me just let me just put this out there. No, I'll wait till I get there. Okay, okay, Thank I got you. Kansas City. Okay, so one, two, and three. I have all three teams going thirteen and four. Okay, so uh, Kansas City, Buffalo, and Cincinnati. So it'll just depend on tiebreakers who gets mm-hmm. got who it. Gets what? And then Jacksonville at four. I have them at nine and eight, but they're four because they win their division, obviously. Yeah, absolutely. And then five, the Chargers, six, the Patriots. And then here at seven, depending on what happens with Deshaun Watson, I have either Cleveland or Baltimore. Okay. So who you got, Dave? Jacoby Brissett is not taking Cleveland to the playoffs. No, sir. No. Dave, who you got? Uh, At one, I have the Buffalo Bills. Okay. Two, I have the Denver Broncos. Okay. Three, I have the Baltimore Ravens. Mm -hmm. Four, the Indianapolis Colts. Five, I have the Kansas City Chiefs. Okay. Six, I have the Chargers. Okay. And seven, I have the Titans. Okay. Okay. So, my number one is going to be the Bills. Number two is the Bengals. Number three, we're looking at the Titans. Number four is going to be the Chiefs. <laughs> so, reason I'm putting them so low is because that AFC West is going to smack each other around. Mm-hmm. So, your three um, wildcard teams... Uh, your number number five is going to be the Raiders. Uh, number six, I'm looking at the Ravens. And number seven, just barely squeaking in, I am looking at... I'm going to say the Broncos at number seven. Well, that matters. They're in your playoffs. Yeah. Just squeaking in. So... Open the floor. What do we got? So first thing, all, th- all, all of you had something bold. I got to hear it all. So we're just going to rock it right here. First things first. Uh, you, sir, if I remember correctly, who, who did you have that I was like? Oh, yeah, you had the Chargers. I think the Chargers are the one the West. Bring it. Justin Herbert's improving each time as he goes. Okay. Keenan Allen is an underrated receiver in the league. Okay. You still got Austin Eckler who can carry the rock. Okay. Derwin James has been fighting injury, but he's coming back, and I think he's going to improve a lot, improve and be better this year. Mm-hmm. Asante Samuel Jr. is a solid addition for a corner. I think he'll be all right with them. You still got Joey Bosa. You just added Khalil Mack. Khalil Mack will be playing man on a mission to try to see if he could get a comeback player of the year nominee. Mm-hmm. Just everything the Chargers have done, I think it's going to be an addition. But like you stated, the AFC West, I do agree. I think they're going to beat one another up. So and literally, I have the West going between. I'm taking the Chargers because I think they can do it, but the Chiefs and the Raiders are going to be right then and there. They're going to be brutal against one another. Okay. 
So it's anyone up for grabs, but I think the Chargers can squeak out and get it because of everything they added. Okay. Harder. You had, who was it? You had the Colts, but then I thought you had something else. I think it was just the Colts, I think, that was on the conversation. Yeah. Uh, they so upgraded Colts. from Carson Wentz for one. Big upgrade because it's okay. Matty Ice. Okay. Uh, I threw the number two yeah. jersey player upgrade. Jonathan Taylor. Okay. Great offensive line. Okay. Um, Michael Pittman. Proven, going to be proven that he's a number one receiver. Mm -hmm. um, defense is solid. Not great, but solid. Yeah. And, I mean, Matty Ice is better than Tannehill, and the Titans done it. So I'll, I'll give it to you. I'll give you that. I'll give you that one. Because <laughs> I got the Colts. Like, I have the Colts right there for second in the South. So, Dave, I want to get to your Colts as well real quick because I want to see what else you have to add, and then we need to just open the floor here on what's going on here with Jacksonville. So, Dave, what you got on the Colts? So, my thing with the Colts is they have a very good owner, very good GM. You, you have also rode the Colts for, like, I think since we started the podcast. Yeah, yes, because of Carson Wentz. So, very, very good owner, very good coach, very good offensive line, very good GM. Very good quarterback now. Okay. Receiving core is not horrible. Mm -hmm. Very good running back. Yeah. Okay. Defense is solid. They get very good special teams. And their division is kind of shitty. They don't turn the ball over. They don't turn the ball over. They, don't turn the ball over, but... they control the line of scrimmage. Matt Ryan now is going to be protected. And I still think they're going to get Julio Jones. Yeah. There's a possibility, though. It's a possibility, but I don't know. I, I really don't know on the whole conversation of they that do. one. They need him, and yeah. if they get they get Julio, they definitely win that division. Mm -hmm. So I'm I ready. Got one more for you, but okay. we're on the South topic, so we got to do yeah, the I, South topic I get first. This. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Floor is yours. I need to hear this. Well, I I don't know what you want to hear. I mean, the Jags won the division straight up. Okay. It's not even like... This isn't even like breaking news or anything. This is just how it is. Um, <laughs> the division's bad. So, okay. Yeah. I have the Jags winning at nine and eight. And then the Titans right there, eight and nine. The Colts at seven and 10. And then Houston at five and 12. Okay. Um, Trevor Lawrence is going to have a good year. They, I, Irvin Meyer was a train wreck last year. That's so, an understatement. For what so, that was. They've upgraded there. They've still got Etienne and James Robinson are both dogs. I mean, James Robinson's come back from an Achilles. Mm -hmm. We'll have to see what happens there. Uh, they bring in Evan Ingram, who's a dog. They bring in Christian Kirk, who's a dog. They bring in, uh, what's his name? Number one overall pick from Georgia. Oh, yeah. Walker. And uh, Trayvon Walker. Yeah, Trayvon Walker. Well, they drafted a kid from Utah, right? The linebacker. Oh, yeah, Devin Lloyd. Yes. Forgot they drafted Devin Lloyd. Lloyd. Solid defensively. Okay. Mm -hmm. And really, they just, their schedule is weak because they were the worst team in the league last year. And they're also playing in what I'm going to start calling the FC Ouch. <laughs> because, right. so, Ouch. Yeah. So, you know, upgraded team. Easiest strength of schedule in the league. Okay. Nine wins, sneaks them in. They beat Washington. They beat the Colts at home. They beat Houston. They beat the Giants. They beat Denver at home. Okay. They beat the Raiders at home. Mm -hmm. They beat Detroit. They beat Tennessee. And they mm -hmm. beat the Jets. Nine wins. Playoffs. Hmm. All you got to do. Okay. So, any other points? You said you have one for Dave. AFC West. Mm-hmm. You, you took to win the division. Yeah, Denver. Denver. Yeah. So, state your case. Denver has an incredibly talented roster. And you add Russell Wilson, who okay. was so underappreciated in Seattle. A lot of times, your greatness is in front of you. It gets, you can't see it because it's there. Very much like with Brady, Rodgers, you just, you're so used to it, you can't always see it. And Russell Wilson is by far in that category to me. So, question for you. And he gets out of the dumpster fire that is Pete Carroll. Question for you. Yes. Other than the three that I'm about to name, I need you to tell me other offensive weapons that they have. Okay. So, uh, both the receivers that they have, which is, if I remember correctly, Jerry Judy. Mm -hmm. um, Marlon Sutton. And Sutton, thank you. Mm -hmm. And KJ then Hamler. Wilson. 
I, I need other big names that are going to make a huge change on that offense. Yeah, Devontae Williams is running back. Okay. No, no, Melvin no, Gordon left. No, Melvin Gordon's still there, but it's... No. But, yeah, but he did not play well at all last year. He had one big game, I think, last So year. they're going to miss... Could one they're going to miss no fan. There's oh, no... 100%. That no, is where they are hurting. They're going to miss yeah. that. Yes. But I think between the solid defense, the massive upgraded offensive line he's going to get, and I think he gets an upgraded head coach Okay. because I think Pete Carroll is old and washed. And I've said that for Who is Denver's head coach right now? Nathaniel Hackett. Yeah. He was the coordinator in it for the Packers last year. Yeah. So that's the reason everybody thought uh, Rodgers was yep. the one that won. That's why they thought Rodgers to uh, Denver. Mm-hmm. And absolutely, if Aaron Rodgers was in Denver, case closed. Yeah. Yeah. No. no case closed. closed for the- not a chance in hell. A man is 4 in the NFC. That's weaker than the AFC. So please get that shit out of here. <laughs> He, hey, he does so good with the AFC, makes it all the way to the AFC championship and loses. Yeah. yeah. It'd be funny. If he... Oh, my God. But, no, I, I truly, I I think Denver's going to win the Super Bowl. Okay, so oh, we know we know one of your AFC championship teams. So you yep. have Denver winning the Super Bowl. Yeah. Like the one? Not the Super like, Bowl? Like the one that is played... Is the last game of the year. And we're not talking about some promotion that Menards is doing yeah. during the Super Bowl next year right. where, like, somebody gets to throw in, a, everybody's putting in to a, a raffle and they try to win a toilet and they're going to call it the Super Bowl giveaway. You're talking the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl with the commercials, the halftime show, the trophy. They can have commercials and a trophy and all that stuff for a giveaway at Menards, too. Yeah, they can. <laughs> the one where you, if you win, you get a really big ring. You go to Disney World? That, 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 that was okay. Uh, that game, man. Bold man. So that's what that is. I need your two AFC win. Uh, I need your two AFC teams in the championship, and who wins the AFC championship? Chris, kick it. I went on the limb because I said it was. I think the Bengals make it back to the AFC championship, but I'm actually been looking back, and I was going for a little bit. I'm going to take a sleeper for my second one. Okay. My sleeper is going to be the Los Angeles Chargers. Okay. To win and to go. I'll change it up a bit because I know we've been chanting and I had it all go. Yeah. I'm feeling the vibe that you and I, we kind of chatted a bit on it too, but I feel the vibe. I think Cincinnati can make an appearance and go back to back. Okay. AFC championships. Carter, who you got? Uh, I have... Denver and the Bills. Okay. Who wins that game? Uh, Denver. Okay. Sherm, who you got? I'm going Buffalo and the Chargers. Okay. And who's winning that one? Buffalo. Okay. Dave, who we got? Uh, Denver goes to Buffalo and wins. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. So uh, I, I have the Bengals coming into Buffalo and winning. Um, and they're going to go off to the Super Bowl, and then I need you guys a Super Bowl champion with your Super Bowl matchup. So re- reiterate your Super Bowl matchup. What do you got? Uh, Dalton Message, he dropped his Super Bowl matchup. He's yes. He's got the AFC. He's taking the Buffalo Bills for the NFC. I think he just typed quickly, and he was just going quick for the NFC. He's going to take the Green Bay Packers. His Super Bowl champion is the Buffalo Bills. He says Bills Mafia for the Super Bowl. Interesting. For mine, I said I think we'll have a rematch. I think in Rams and Bengals, and as much as I would love Cincinnati to win the Super Bowl, I do think they have the talent. They definitely insured the Ferrari. Hell yeah, they did. I yeah. think we can have a back-to-back Super Bowl champion and be the first time in a long time we had a back-to-back champion for the Super Bowl. I think the LA Rams can get it, and I think Aaron Donald can get a second ring. Oh. Rough. Part of who you got? Uh, Super Bowl matchup is the Saints and Denver. Okay. And uh, Denver is going to take it home. Okay. And Russ will be the Super Bowl MVP. Interesting. Okay. Even more bold. Mm-hmm. What do we got, Sherm? He's adding on to it. All right. So I've got Buffalo and the Rams. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I think that the Rams take it. And I think that it is the highest scoring Super Bowl 
of all time. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are we looking at here for the differential? Six. Okay, so a six differential. Six what's eight. total? What's total scored? One oh six. One oh six scored. Fifty six to fifty. Ooh. Five. That is an <laughs> offensive game. <laughs> Off the field, no defense. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Bitch. Matt Matt Stafford bounces back from his subpar performance in this year's Super Bowl. He throws for like 360. Josh Allen also throws for like 350. Are they playing backyard football? Basically, they're playing. Well, they are yards. playing. A, they are playing. A he, he, he's talking about the stadium. Indian Bowl. Well, they lost Von Miller, so the, the Rams defense not as good. Oh gosh! And then the Bills defense always underperforms. Their DBs are not good. And they Bills do have Von Miller, exactly. <laughs> okay, yeah, I get it. I see where you're going, but mm-hmm. geez. So who's got 56? The Rams. So they go back to back as well. Back to back. Okay. Yep. Interesting. Sean McVay, give him another one. Give him number two. Mm-hmm. And, Dave, who you got? Then, oh then, wait, yeah, and then. Aaron Donald retires. Okay. Does he get MVP before he retires? No. Stafford no one gets it. Come, okay. Dave. Who you got? Uh, I'm gonna have Denver beating Tampa. Okay. Um, and we get to see Tom's joyous face full of misery. Hey, you're you're just making Chris happy. <laughs> so, yeah, Chris doesn't have an argument for that one. <laughs> Was that Tom's candle? Yep. I haven't seen that one. The Tom Tom Andel. The, the Tom The Tom The Tom I like it. The Tom The Tom It's clean, isn't it? We got Beautiful. The Josh Eisty. Speaking of, that, I can use that one. That's the candle. So uh This candle's a bitch. So boys, I, I would love for you to meet uh your your Super Bowl MVP next year. Um as they go back to the Super Bowl and beat the L.A. Rams by two touchdowns. Two whole touchdowns? Mm-hmm. Two touchdowns. Uh, one to two touchdowns, I will say. So uh, Cincinnati is going to beat the Rams in Arizona. <sighs> I, by oh. at least a touchdown, maybe up to two. That's well, better. That's actually, a better way to say it. The problem is, is we're all wrong. I mean, now whoever hosts the Super Bowl, they get to play at home now. So clearly the Cardinals are going to the Super Bowl. Let's be honest. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> And since we all had an MVP, because I had the Rams win the Super Bowl, um, nope. I'll go again. Second MVP. So you want to know what I'm voting for or what I'm all for? The Browns renovations. <laughs> next year, baby. That's our year. There's Let's go. <laughs> There's always next year. And we get a renovated stadium to suck I into. Don't, I don't see the point. First energy is fine. It's, it's starting to crumble. It's got some age to it. Spend money on a damn free agent instead of a stadium, please. Like a linebacker. This, do you need a moment? Do you need a moment to talk to the camera here? <laughs> just let me just let him know. You know. I think. Hey, like, Dorsey, we want a linebacker. Thank you. Uh, Bring the gavel not, out. That's not the GM anymore. Oh yeah, no, Andrew sure. Barry, a linebacker, please. We got JOK. He needs a buddy. He no, he needs a buddy. He, he needs a buddy. What else do you want? He got us a, a suspended quarterback. Well, thanks. Thanks for that. Great. Love it. Thanks for pissing off Baker, getting a suspended quarterback. Now we're going to play Jacoby Brissett this year. Love it. Yes, sir. Now we have no draft picks until I have kids. So, great. <laughs> no comment at this time. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's an off-stream comment. All right. Off-stream All comment. Right. <laughs> All right. Let me, let me say something bold here. I'm ready. Uh, Joe Burrow never goes back to a Super Bowl. No, Cincinnati done. Oh, they had their shot. They didn't win it. That's it. You you don't have to they listen. Never go back. <laughs> you don't have to listen to him. I just want to put that out there. The AFC is way too competitive. Don't worry about the bad man. <laughs> don't worry about him. The AFC is way too competitive. Zach Taylor is not the answer. What what the, what the fuck are you talking <laughs> about? Like, they never go back. They had no offensive line. They had no business being where they were at. They won a home playoff game, and then they went on the road and won two impressive playoff games. 
And they were an offensive lineman knowing to reach your damn hands out and block Aaron Donald for three seconds from winning another Super Bowl. Like, what What do you mean he's not the fucking guy? He's that guy, pal. No, he's not. He's that guy. And he's got a quarterback. And his owner's a cheap ass, but they're finally getting an indoor practice field. So maybe the times are changing. No, now they're going to be too soft. And Mike Brown got cold. COVID, and he realized to spend money and win games. That's what happened. Chemical in his brain changed. They're never going back. The Bengals oh, book it. The Bengals over the next decade will have more success than the Cleveland Browns. That's I'm not. Sure, I'm just gonna mark this whole situation. Right now. <laughs> that, see now, that's not the argument because I have literally Deshaun Watson could be suspended for the rest of his career. And, yes, and, they were. Yes, not. and then on top of that, the NFL is not going to give the Browns draft picks back. No. So then we're just fucked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. The argument of Cleveland versus Cincinnati is not the argument. The argument is that Cincinnati will not be headed back to the Super Bowl. They're going to be the best team in the division for the next decade. That that has nothing to do with going back to the Super Bowl. They have to go so through home playoff game. Every they year. have to go through Patrick Mahomes. They have to go through Josh Allen. They have to go through Kenny Lamar Pickett. Jackson. They, Josh Allen has shown that he doesn't compete well postseason. Kenny Pickett. They have to go through Justin Herbert. Derek so we'll Carr. Come. They have to add another guy. Mac like Jones. Lamar Jackson too. Because I think Baltimore will run the two man, and it's going to be the RPO option. Oh, Trace McSorley. And, well, Trace McSorley's in Arizona. But I wanted to talk about J.K. Dobbins. I, I yes, about got you fired up with a comment, by the way. Fucking Dobbins. I got you fired up with a comment, by the way. I said, he has to go through Tua, too. Oh, no. He, he, that's not what he has to do. <laughs> yeah. Zach Wilson. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> Never heard. I mean, of I mean Garrett Wilson, Zach Wilson. That's got to be a duo. They got. They got yeah, they got. The Jets already called them the Wilsons. But yeah, Boom. never going back. Cincinnati. They're done. So, we got any final words, final comments? Do because I, I don't have anything else on my list. Well, other than the Jets and Steelers are going to tie for another game, so okay. they're going eight and one. I, I'm good. Okay. You guys got any final final thoughts? Uh, Powerful anecdotes. All may rise for the judge. Uh, no, and uh, we need to check that score. By the way, Yankees are winning four two. That is yeah, they no scored four in the thir- top of the no third. six two. Savali was on the mound. I thought he had to start today. He started the second game. Um, they started Anthony Goss. He got caught up. Yeah. Yeah. What? He got called up. 